Well, hello there, Witcher fans. Thank you guys so much, man. You guys have been awesome. The Witcher series is doing really good on the channel. So if I'm seeing that it's very popular, you know, which is to be expected when it comes on to The Witcher. Um, that's why when I said that, like, when new series come out, I'm going to start, if it's on, if it's like on Netflix, if it's like a very short season that we can bend through it and get through it, I will do that because that also helps people to come and know about the channel also because this is, you know, it's like very recent, you know, so people will more likely to subscribe to the channel and stuff because we're here to grow a community and they will get introduced to know, you know, my style of doing reactions on YouTube and come to appreciate it because a lot of people, you know, they come on here every now and then it's like, dude, I've been with you throughout all this time, a year, you know, going on a year and a half now. Um, and you know, it, they don't understand why I don't have more subscribers. And one of the reasons, one of the main reasons why I don't have a lot of subscribers is because of how I do reactions because people don't want to leave YouTube and go watch the, the, um, watch the video somewhere else. A lot of people don't know that I do full reactions and upload them elsewhere. They don't know that, you know what I'm saying? But when they do, they subscribe to the channel. Um, it's not something that I advertise. I don't even put it in the title of my videos. Um, you know, I don't do that for plenty of reasons why I don't do that. I don't want to draw too much attention to my, to, to the YouTube channel also. Okay. So you put full reaction in the title. Yes, it's going to drive a lot of traffic because of that title, but also you don't want to clickbait yourself into oblivion. Like I do not want to do that because yes, I have my, you know, my things, but my, I could also get strike for links. So I do not want to draw too much attention to it, but I know that it's there so as long as you guys know and i know we can be at ease it's not on youtube okay so thank you guys so much i'm not putting it anywhere where it's not a website or anything like that you guys are not paying me to watch it or anything like that um so we're cool we're cool we're cool so the witcher fans you know i was not expecting them to go so deep into um Yennefer's past like I don't know anything about her past we just got introduced to her like I was introduced to her through the video game so I, I and she's a bomb she's the bomb diggity you know what I'm saying like she's she's babe bay babe you know what I'm saying so I was not expecting them to introduce Yennefer like that. I didn't know that she was a hunchback, you know, crooked face. I had no idea, like no clue whatsoever. But I'm um, seeing through her eyes, like her learning about her magical skills and all this other stuff. I'm loving the deep backstory that they did in episode two. And today we're going to do episode three. So I don't know if they're going to introduce another character, but we have yet. I hope. As I said in the last review, I hope they don't wait until like the the last episode of the season for for Geralt and Ciri to come together because we want to see at least one episode of them going up against um what is it Nilf Nilfgaard Nilf, whoever those people are that are chasing Ciri don't remember I think it's Nilfgaard so I do want to see um some more things happen we want to see something a cliffhanger, whatever the situation is to end the season. So we know there's a second season coming. I'm looking forward to it. So we are going to jump into this reaction today. Looking forward to see more, learn more about Yennefer and how she, you know what I'm saying? Cause she probably does use magic to make, I'm guessing that that's what's going to happen. She's going to use magic to make herself look beautiful, right? You know what I'm saying? Honor Sonate shit. So <laughs> let's, let's go look at this, man, and let's go see what's happening. Well, um, I, I have an announcement to make, but I don't want to make it yet. We'll see. Let's go check out this episode, 
and I'll see if I'll come around to doing it at the end in the review. So I'll see you guys over there. Man, oh man, oh man. A hey, Yennefer. Let her brother Holly, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> man, you know what I mean? Like, she, I mean... She's, she's, she's awesome. <laughs> That's all I can say. That's all I can say, man. But I love the contrast. It's not really a contrast. It's more of like a two stories happening on two different parts, um, two in two different places, you know, that's very similar. It's kind of like a rebirth for both, for both scenes, right? G Geralt trying to bring somebody back, lifting a curse. You know what I'm saying? I, I see what they were trying to do with the storytelling and it, and it was beautiful, um, of having those two, two, um, scenes playing simultaneously, flashing back and forth from both of them. Yennefer going through, um, her, her transition into her beauty, you know, I, I, you know, you know what I'm glad for? I'm glad that they didn't that they didn't just do a make it a spell. I'm glad that it was a process and it was also painful. You get what I'm saying because she is she wants to be beautiful. You get what I'm saying? She wants to be beautiful. She also wants to be powerful. You get what I'm saying? And I'm glad that she's taking life by the horns if you will. You know what I'm saying? Going against everything that she was taught cuz she really wants to be with that particular um, King and not she doesn't want to go to Nilfgaard so at first I was thinking if she goes to Nilfgaard right if she goes to Nilfgaard this is how sh she positioned herself to meet Geralt later on in the fu in the future because I know she becomes in, the, in I keep comparing this shit to the game because that's the only thing I know I know that she works with Nilfgaard in the game right um, that's how they, you know, we're looking for Syrian stuff in the game. So let me specify, but I keep comparing stuff to the game, even though it's not the same story. Um, so forgive me for that because it's the only reference that I have off this. So I keep going back to it. I need to stop doing that because this is based on the book more than the video games. Um, you know, the characters are basically the same, um, but the show is the show. So, um, so, yeah, you know, if she had ended up in Nilfgaard, um, yeah, I was thinking that that's how she transitioned into meeting Geralt, Siri, all, and know about Siri and all this other stuff. So, we'll, we'll, we'll see how the, car the characters come together. This is not a very foreign way of writing stories, you know what I'm saying, of writing characters in different places, and then they all get together. Movies do this too. It's a it's a very familiar type of writing um, that we all are used to, okay? Just like Game of Thrones, coming back, all these characters that we know, different parts, until all of them come together in one place. Um, everybody gets to know whether you hate or hate or love each other. We all got to see those characters in one place at 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 some point. Um, so um, that is awesome. So. What I'm looking forward to see um, is to see, I, I do want an update. I know she's going to live, but I still want to want an update of what's the significance. If this was just, if this was just a mission, then it was the school. But I know that Triss has a bigger role to play in this, in, in the entire story. I know for that much. They can't just make her a throwaway character because Triss, Tr Triss, Yennefer, Siri, and Geralt are big characters in 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 the Witcher series. Um, there's other characters too that are that are that um that are very big that are going to be very, you know what I'm saying, prominent in the future. You know from what I'm from what I know from what I'm hearing. Okay, so um I don't know the entire lore of the Witcher. Like I don't know it, but this is this uh, this is something I'm definitely gonna have to check out the books in the future some way somehow I heard that it's become like recently since this drop or you know like 
since it dropped like it's become a bestseller again on Amazon which is awesome it's like trending and all of that good stuff so that's pretty good man I heard that the Witcher tree um, the Witcher 3 okay I'm Jamaican sometimes I say tree <laughs> okay so the witch the Witcher 3 um, Wild Hunt broke the record that they did on like opening day or something like that for the game like it broke it like it broke the record on on um steam that was pretty cool that was pretty cool that a game that is that old i think it, i think i think the witcher 3 is what like seven years old or some shit like that I, I don't remember but to break that record i think it's like i don't think it's that old i don't think it's seven i think it's like four or five years old i'm not I'm, i don't remember when the witcher 3 came out but at some point but in any case this series is really intriguing, and I'm glad that Yennefer is kind of going her own way. Um, I don't know if her teacher, I can't remember her name. I don't know if she is going to be jealous or start to hate Yennefer because, because of this, or she's going to admire her. It could be that she admires her. It could be that the freaking, the, 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 um, the council or the court, whatever they call themselves, they could admire her, the charter, but I, th I think it said a tr I think that's what they call it. Whatever the the count the people that meet up together, this magic council or whatever, um, they could come to admire her because of this. So who knows? So I'm definitely looking forward to seeing more of this series. It's great, man. Love Geralt. Henry Cavill is doing an amazing job with this character. I think I think in my opinion, like the things that I've seen him in. I didn't like his Superman. A lot of people did like his Superman. I didn't like his Superman. Um, I think he didn't get to do a lot of acting when he played Superman, and that's the thing. Like I loved him in the in the last Mission Impossible movie. Like that, he was awesome in that as an action star. He had some really cool moments in there. But I think this is one of his best acting performances. Maybe I need to watch more things with Henry Cavill to get a a big a uh, really good feeling of him but he's a really good action star like i i like him in action stuff but but in this the witcher he's he's kind of displaying his acting chops more than more than anything else you know what i'm saying even though he's not saying much like his facial expressions are you know what i'm saying <laughs> his facial expressions are awesome so i i i love him for that um he's doing an amazing job all the actors and actresses they're doing an amazing job in this series. There's three episodes in, and I'm seeing that they really did do a good job with the cast here in this series. So far, so good. I don't think anybody is really, like, disappointing with their acting. So, um, so yeah, man. It's cool. It's great. I'm looking forward to see more, more side missions. <laughs> Let's see some more side missions in this wonderful world of The Witcher. Yes, so it, it, it's cool, man. Um, I don't know if we're ever going to see um, Geralt's teacher. I still can't remember his name, but you guys know who I'm talking about because he's one of those. He's he's another character that's very prominent in the series. I'm surprised that they haven't even shown an image of him yet. Um, so we all know that not all witchers are awesome. <laughs> you know, that is something we learn from the video game that not all the witchers are awesome. Some of them really do just take money and run. <laughs> you know, I don't even bother to even try to get the monster, you know. So some of them some of them are real douchebags, you know. Um so it's it's whatever. Um so I'm looking forward, man. A and finally let me end on this on this note. Jennifer is awesome. <laughs> She's a ten. Okay, she's a 10. I dare you to disagree. She's a 10. She wasn't a 10 before. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? There's no way possible you're going to look at look at a per, look at a, a hunchback crooked face woman and be like, "Okay, that's who I want to be with." So, let's not let's not lie here. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, let's not lie. She was not desirable before. I'm surprised that, you know what I'm saying? He seems like, I don't know, but it that was weird. That, that was weird to me. I'm just saying, you know what I'm saying? If we are to be real, there's no 
men out here that's going to be with a hunchback crooked face woman let let's be honest here you know what i'm saying they just created this weird ass love story for some reason in the series but okay you know what i'm saying it is it is what it is i'm not saying ugly people don't i'm talking about because that's not ugly that's deformed you get you get what i'm trying to say there's a difference between ugly and being deformed like that's deformity nobody wants to be with deformity it's it's just like how even with a man it's the same thing like you know what i'm saying like nobody desires that that's not something that you see outright and be like okay that's what i want to be with i'm gonna fall in love with that <laughs> you know what i'm saying like let's just be honest here i'm just being real i'm just being real you guys can 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 comment on it in in, in the um you can dislike it in the video even if if you want to do that if you disagree with me but that's just my opinion on it <laughs> anyways see you guys later man love the witcher so far hopefully you guys are enjoying watching with me peace like and subscribe please